Welcome back. We are here on Eater looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we were basically all over the place today, not just in the S&P 500, but also in the Nasdaq and Dow Jones, up and down. And at the end of the session, it rallied. And now we're basically at the very top. We're trading at 3,966. Very close to the target of 4,000 and also very close to the top of the, this range where we most likely will find quite a lot of resistance. Technical indicators, they are all very uh, bullish at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that will most likely uh, be heavily bought into. And this looks like we are continuing this range. And this was just a minor bump in this, uh, in this channel. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones continued to rally, a very impressive candlestick here at the top, but this is getting very overstretched. A pullback from, uh, from here towards the 20 exponential, that would be, uh, at this point, not, um, uh, would be very likely at this current age, but as you can see in the past, when we have gotten outside of the bullish band, we have broken down quite heavily. We have been outside of the bullish band for the last six trading days, and it's just a matter of time before this basically basically breaks to the downside. Technical indicators, they are uh, on the edge of being overbought. We're at 69 here in RSI. CCI is turning around very heavily, so is the stochastic, while the MACD is bullish. So buying it at this stage is very, very risky. Pullbacks towards the 20 or even the 50 or even the lower part of the Bollinger Band, that is most likely what is going to occur here. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So, yes, NASDAQ. So, as you can see, we did rally at the end of the session. Uh, gave a little bit of those gains back, but this was basically all over the place today. It was just waiting for uh, the Fed and so on. And uh, it looks like we are about to uh, rally or basically tested the 50 moving average. So we crossed the middle of the Bollinger Band here, the 20 moving average. And uh, tomorrow we'll most likely go and test the 50 moving average at roughly 13,171. Uh, uh, Technical indicators are all looking very promising for for the NASDAQ at this current stage. A break below these candlestick here opens the door to the very lows of the Bollinger Band at uh, 12,250 give or take. Um, so yes, it looks like we are about to test the 50 and break above the 50. That opens the door uh, to 3,336 and then the top of the Bollinger Band right at 13,000, which is also our target. So let's look at the DAX. So the DAX can, um, had rallied significantly last week and now is starting to slowly grind towards the 20 exponential. Whether or not we uh, trade sideways for the foreseeable future or break down towards the 20 or the 50, that is to be seen. Technical indicators, they are turning around. Some of them are bullish still, MACD is bullish. Uh, however, the other indicators are turning around, indicating bearish momentum. So it would be very likely that we'll roll over here, head towards the 20, the middle of the bullish band, or the 50 before rallying higher. In the past, when we have gone this far outside of the bullish band, we have gone all the way to the bottom, all the way down to the 50 moving average, and, and so on. So at this current stage, it needs a pullback due to this uh, massive rally. So let's look at the UK so this has also been all over the place today we are at the bottom here at 6721 and at the very top of the bullish band that is at 3810 right now we're tra tra trading at 6774 technical indicators they are well looking very promising uh, MACD is bullish, the sarcastic is bullish, CCI is flat, and the RSI is flat. So at this point, it 
would be most likely a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band before going higher. We are fairly trading sideways here, where the highs of the 6,800 has offered quite a lot of resistance, while the lows here, abruptly 6,468, have also offered quite a lot of support. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.